Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This weekend was a busy weekend, but I am back with another story time for you guys. I hope you guys are ready. Get your wine, get your snacks, because we're going to be talking about something that I feel like every girl goes through. I mean, maybe guys go through it, but I don't think it's as often or as ridiculous or as petty or as childish as often as it happens to girls. So we're going to talk about it today. So get your wine, get your snacks. I hope y'all are ready for story time. Oh, it's so good to be back. I'm so excited for today's story time. As usual, before we get into today's story time, today's glamour shot of the day. Yes, we are doing a glamour shot of the day for the first time in forever. It's my girl, Katie. Katie messaged me on Twitter with a beautiful glamour shot. Thank you so much, Katie, for all of your love and support. You guys know that I would not be here without you, and I could not do this without each and every one of you guys. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now let's get into the story time, girl. So today's story time is going to be about the pettiness that I feel like so many of us have to deal with with other females. And I want to talk about it because, one, I feel like it's definitely a dilemma, and it's definitely something that needs to stop. And number two, I just feel like it's it's just absolutely ridiculous, okay? This story takes place when I was 19 years old. This was actually before I met David. I always, like base my stories on whether or not I've met him yet. So this was when I was still best friends with Heather's funky ass, okay? So we were going to college together. You guys already know the dealio. And we were on the same campus and I was like working full time, yada, 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 right? We're gonna backtrack to high school at my shitty, shitty school. I think this is like one of the top petty moments in my life. I mean, definitely not number one. But I, this was like one of the top pettiest arguments that I was ever a part of in my life. So, of course, it started and it all began at the shitty, shitty school. I was 15 years old. I was at my shitty, shitty school. I was a freshman in high school. And here we go. Most of you guys have already heard about my transition into the school. So we're going to fast forward a few months. Now, I started the school when I was 14 years old. And then I had already turned 15, right? So this is like the second half of the school year. I ended up talking to this other guy. And we will call him Jay, all right? So Jay was my age, he was in my grade, he was a basketball player, kind of quiet, and he was in most of my classes, and he and I just like started talking, and we talked for about a month, and I really liked him, I thought that he was, you know, he was pretty sweet or whatever, and he was like super tall, he was almost six foot as a freshman. Then to top that off, he also lived near me. So if you guys remember, I told you guys that we lived in like the same neighborhood, like most of the kids that went to my shitty shitty school. There was like this cluster of like apartments, and they were like different apartments. Everyone at my school lived in those apartments pretty much, and we all pretty much rode the same buses. So Jay lived in some other apartments, but they were legit like across the street, right? He and I ended up talking for months and um, not four months, but for months. <laughs> we actually ended up talking the rest of that year through the summer and into our sophomore year, okay? So during the summer, we actually got really close in the sense that he started confiding in me about like personal things that were happening with his family and he had like some real shit going on and I was trying to like you know be there for him and there was one time that he actually came to my apartment in the middle of the night and Ariel and I shared a room as per usual and he legit it was like something out of a movie I lived on the second floor because my mom didn't play that she never if we lived in an apartment we never lived on the first floor because she was like y'all will try to sneak out so we lived on the second floor and I remember waking up and Ariel and I kept hearing this tapping over and over on our window and I looked out of the window and he was out there because he had gotten kicked out of his house right so like you know we were dealing with shit like that so like I had snuck out to go talk to him and figure out what the hell was going on. He didn't know where to go. I couldn't have him all up in my house. So like we had to like call one of our friends that was willing to take him in in the middle of the night and like let him crash on their couch for a little bit. It was like crazy, okay? So he was going through some real ass shit. So during the summer, we ended up getting really close because I helped him through a lot. Like, the issue with Jay 
was that he was really calm. He was really laid back. He was really sweet. And he was not the type to like shout it from the rooftops that he had a girlfriend. Either you knew or you didn't. But he was not the type to like believe in labels. Like he was one of them. He was just like very laid back and low key and was just like if you knew you knew and if you didn't you didn't. But he was not the type to be like yeah I got a girlfriend or yeah you know I'm with someone or whatever. It was just it is what it is. Like he never talked about it ever and it was such a pet peeve of mine because especially in high school I just feel like us girls especially we want our dudes to be like yeah we got a girl and it's so and so and like don't disrespect her kind of shit. A lot of times in high school that's like your first serious relationship and you want everybody to know about it. So I was in that moment too in my life and I was 15 years old and I wanted everybody to hear it from him and he just was not doing that right so I kind of had to get over that he had to explain to me like I'm just not that type of person like it's not anything against you it's not that I don't believe in our relationship or we're not together it's just I don't feel like it's something that I need to harp on or like tell everybody you know like either they know or they don't and so he like I said he was like infuriatingly laid back like he just was like very low-key like nothing is a big deal right so that was kind of a point where we bumped heads like that was something that we bumped heads about the thing about jay and i'm sure that you guys know somebody like this okay he was very nice and he was very he was not talkative but if you spoke to him he would talk to you and because he was nice he would be very friendly and a lot of times girls that would talk to him would misunderstand that friendliness and that niceness for flirting or for him being interested and he wasn't and then also on top of that he would never openly talk about our relationship so it was really confusing and really misleading to a lot of girls that he would talk to because he was so friendly right so I had noticed this a few times and Alicia had brought it to my attention like girl I saw Jay talking to so and so and it looked real friendly so here we go again it was something else that I needed to talk to him about and I saw it in action a few times like him talking to girls and me knowing him personally I could tell that he was not trying to cheat or flirt but I could see how it could be mistaken for that I could see how that could be misunderstood because of his demeanor and some of these girls would really be like oh my god he's so sweet and I think he likes me and oh my god blah, 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 right they're they're misunderstanding it and then it goes around the school and it embarrasses me and then I end up having issues with females because of you I had gym class right I this gym class and you know they actually had us like assigned seats like on the gym floor so every day when we came in we had to stretch but we had to sit it in that particular order in these lines right so Jay was kind of like a few rows down from me but he was like in the same row but like you know a few people away from me and there was this girl that was behind him and we will call her um I'm trying to I'm trying to like look for something to give me inspiration for a name we'll call her Lauren okay so Lauren was a girl that I had never met before and she was a freshman and I'm not going to sit up here and lie to you. Lauren was absolutely gorgeous. She was so beautiful to me. And I thought that she was a really pretty girl. She was she was younger than us, but you know, she was kind of like pretty developed for her age. Now back then, as most teenagers are, I felt pretty insecure about this because obviously I am not like well developed at this time. My uh, self esteem isn't where it needs to be and I'm still really young. So I see this beautiful girl sitting behind my man's, okay? So immediately red flags go up and I am very watchful over what's going on, right? Also it's a cause for concern for me because my boyfriend doesn't really like talking about being my boyfriend so first few days of gym class go by and it seems to be pretty normal and I kind of start forgetting about it like it is what it is she's a beautiful girl she's a freshman she has her own shit going on and I don't really see a whole lot of like communication between Jay and her fast forward a few weeks and Jay and I are going through our own thing and I don't remember what was going on but we had a fight and I, for the life of me, can't remember why. I had had photography class and he and I had gotten into it in the hallway of my photography class and like 
he stormed off, right? I go into my photography class and Alicia was in that class with me and I went in there and I'm like damn near in tears, like everything was such a big deal for me back then. And I told her what was happening and oh my God, we're fighting and I think we're gonna break up and like this is like the end of the world for me, right? And for some reason back then, my emotions were like so everywhere. I think that you guys can probably relate to this. When you're in high school, I just feel like everything is just a big deal and everything hits you directly in your heart. For some reason, I don't know what happens when you're a teenager, but like that's how it feels. I could not focus in class. I couldn't hear my teacher. I was so unbelievably consumed with the argument that I had just had with Jay. Number one, because we never argued. And number two, I really liked him by this point and like when you're going through ups and downs and like you see this person go through their vulnerable stages like I had the summer prior with him, you feel a special connection and you feel like this is going to last forever, right? So I felt like I was going to lose the love of my life and I did not love him like at all. Like we did not tell each other that. I was not in love with him. I just... It was just a thing. I don't know, girl. Like, I was losing my mind. I'm sitting there in class, and I beat myself up for this to this day. This is why I tell you guys to really think about it, because it's, like, not even that big of a deal. But I could have learned so much for free in that damn photography class, because they were teaching me everything that I had to learn later on in life just to do my job now. Like, how stupid are you, Nikki? But anyways, so I wasn't paying attention, and I couldn't think about anything else besides what had just happened between between Jay and I right before class in the hallway. Now, Jay didn't have a class during this period. He was like, he had his off period. I just felt like this overwhelming urge to get out of class somehow, say I'm going to the bathroom or something, and go find him and figure it out because I couldn't even think. I couldn't think about anything else. Like I was so unbelievably, ridiculously consumed with what had just happened. And I beat myself up about it all the time. Like, even now, I'm just like, girl, you're so dumb. I decide to just go forward with my original plan of being stupid and deciding to leave my class and telling my teacher that I need to go to the bathroom to go find Jay because this was so important and my whole life was going to end if I didn't, okay? So I asked for the hall pass and I take off and I try to go find Jay. He's he's in a, only one of very few places. He's either near the gyms uh, because like over there was like vending machines and stuff and like sometimes kids would like hang out right there by the gyms or he was in the lunchroom for his off period which would be really hard for me to go in there because if you go in you can't go out and I had no business over there or he's in the library, right? Where my class was, my photography class, it was like towards the end of the school and there was like a balcony. So if you look over that balcony, it's like the area where the two gyms are. It's like this big area, you have like vending machines on the side and then you have the east gym and the west gym, right? And you can see it over this balcony. So that was the first place that I went because if he's hanging out right there, I can see it right there and then if he's not, I head down to the library. That was my, that was my plan. So I go down to the end of the hall, you guys, my heart is beating so fast. Like, I don't know why this is such a big deal. I was so dramatic when I was a teenager, my God. And I look over that balcony from my guy friends and I'm looking and it's like a cluster of kids and like they just kind of sit out there. Some of them have their textbooks out. Some of them are at the vending machine or whatever and they just chill right there. I'm like looking through all of them and I see there's like a pillar but I see like feet, like someone sitting on the floor and I could see like the feet of that person and I recognized his shoes. <laughs> like I recognized Jay's shoes and I was like, oh my God, that's him right there. So I decide to, there's like a back stairwell that leads right into that area, right? So I take the stairwell because I'm upstairs, obviously. So I take the stairwell and I go downstairs because I need to talk to Jay. Like this needs to happen right now and I'm going to die if I don't talk to Jay. Before I can even say anything, I notice that there are another set of feet right next to him and they belong to a girl. And so I was like... Like I saw her feet, like I didn't see anything else at this point. And so like I just kind of prepared myself and I completely went around the pillar and he looked up at me and he saw me and he had like a textbook on his lap and he's like got his backpack next to him and he's sitting there and right next to him, it's Lauren. 
and she's like sitting super close to him like their thighs are touching and shit and you could tell that like she was like all up in his face something was happening that was basically the consensus of that entire situation and you guys i I couldn't even say anything like I just felt like my heart was breaking like I was like oh my god like I don't even need to hear what comes out of your mouth I can see all of it like right now in front of my face I can see what is happening and you guys this little girl looked up at me like what and like she like kind of looked me up and down like what and so I was like oh bitch I looked at him and I just like kind of looked at him sideways and I was like really Jay and he was like what and he was like what's wrong and like just playing stupid and I was like okay I felt stupid because he knew that I left class to go talk to him number one and number two I just felt like really embarrassed in front of her like obviously something's happening between my man and I and now you know and now you know that there's an issue between he and I like I said at this point in time you know news travels fast at school and by this time you know we had been talking since last year so everybody knew that Jay and I were together so you're not going to tell me that she didn't know so now she knows and now she kind of knows that she got to me because I was visibly upset and like I was trying to hold back tears because not you like you seem so sweet and so nice you have one fight one little argument and then not even 10 15 minutes later i go down to find you and you're already with this bitch like you're already sitting next to her i knew it i knew it i knew it you know when like you see a female come around and she hasn't said nothing to your man yet she hasn't even looked at him yet but you could see, you could just sense it you know exactly who it's gonna be before it even happens that's what had happened with her so i was like oh i knew it so like i go and i leave and i feel all of these like emotions and i'm so emotional and i'm so upset and i'm so embarrassed and i'm just like what the hell so like i immediately like start sprinting up the stairs to my class and i just hear footsteps coming up behind me i make it up the stairs and i just hear nikki and i turn around and it's jay and i was like what and he was like I don't understand why you're upset with me. And I was like, well, if you don't understand, why are you coming up the stairs after me then, Jay? And he was like, well, because I, I don't want to be in trouble later. And I was like, what you mean in trouble? Like, why are you treating me like I'm your mom? I was like, we have one argument and you go and do some shit like that. And he was like, do what? Like, I didn't do anything. And I was like, okay, like, I'm not going to sit here and play this little game with you. I'm not going to sit here and have you continuously upset me. You know exactly why I'm upset. Like, I hate that so much. Stop making me feel like I'm crazy. I am not crazy. Like, you try to put yourself in my shoes and think about it and how you would feel if we just had an argument and I'm sitting up there sitting right next to some dude and I'm sitting here telling you that I'm not doing nothing wrong. I was like, whatever, Jay. If I even take a step, I can hear his feet going down those stairs. Like, he did not take a second to think about it. He honestly did not feel like there was anything wrong with it and maybe there wasn't i don't know i just knew something not so innocent was brewing between the two of them i could just tell like you have a feeling like i'm not stupid if i go back into class and i sit next to alicia and i'm more upset than i was before i left and so she passes me a note and we start passing notes back and forth to each other and i'm telling her everything that's going on and again i'm not paying attention to class now I'm distracting her and like she's getting upset for me and Alicia was like my ride or die homie and like she had known Jay since middle school so she was like what the fuck like this is not okay she's like I'm gonna have a word or two with him because that is so ridiculous. She knew about Lauren because I told her obviously she's my best friend so she was like and with this little funky ass freshman too like are you serious so you know we're talking about it and that was like the remainder of our class was just us talking about how shitty this entire situation was okay jay and i ended up figuring it out i don't remember how but i know that we figured it out that day after school like before we got onto the bus and he somehow convinced me that nothing was happening i didn't have like a whole lot to to stand on as far as you cheated or you did something with her y'all were just sitting next to each other why i don't know i want to say we stayed together maybe like a month or two more than that and then things ended like we ended it 
we had our own falling out. His overwhelming, like, laid-back mentality and attitude, he would come off as emotionless and he would come off as heartless. Whenever he was, like, mad or frustrated or whatever, he would come off as an asshole. And so that was the reason why we ended up breaking up because I was like, you don't care about me. Like, you don't, you simply don't care. Like, you just don't have, there's something wrong with you. So, like, we ended up breaking up, right? Fast forward, not even a month. Not even a month. I remember this. And I'm walking down the hallway with Alicia. And I see Jay and Lauren walking down the hallway. And they're holding hands. And I have all of my friends, all of my homegirls, and my guy friends coming up to me telling me, oh, he's with Lauren now and I'm so sorry, you know, that's so messed up or whatever. Like, he didn't even wait that long. Yeah, they had been talking, you know, for X amount of time. And you know, you know how, like, when you break up with somebody and, like, especially in school, all of a sudden, after it's done, after the dust has settled, then people come out the woodwork talking about they knew about it and this is how long and they knew the whole time and blah, 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 like, giving you all of this background information, like, why didn't you tell me before kind of shit. So, like, that's what was happening and I was just, like, in this mess of, like, ridiculousness with Jay. I shortly after ended up moving on to, you know, my other eye candy or whatever later on that year. It really wasn't a big deal. I was not in love with him. Our relationship was not that serious. And we were just teenagers and everything was a big deal at the time, okay? It really was not anything more than that. After about, I don't know, a week or two, I was... I was out. It was old news by then and I guess they had been together a few months and then broke up. Like they did not last that long, okay? Alright, now, fast forward. Like, you know, that happened when I was 15 years old. So we're going to fast forward four years to when I was 19 years old, okay? And we are in college. I'm best friends with Heather's funky ass. I'm going to school every day. I got my own job, got my own car. Everything is how y'all knew it to be at this time, right? A lot of people from like all of my high schools went to this college. And so I was running into people that I had not seen for years. Like years but like we had all ended up at the same college and so it was kind of cool like, I was dating I was single and you know everything was all good right so one day I was like in the Tivoli which is like this area where they have like the bookstore the lunch area and all the fast food restaurants the game room um you know like little study spaces and stuff like that so I was in there and I was with Heather and she and I were chilling and we were like talking to all of our friends or whatever. And I had actually reconnected with one of my guy friends from the shitty, shitty school. And we'll name him like Tyler, okay? So I was like talking to Tyler or whatever and he and I had always been real cool. And so, you know, we had reconnected here at school and he was like chilling with Heather and I and it was like a super normal day. Well, Tyler, because he had gone to the shitty, shitty school, he actually stayed there until graduation, right? So he knew Jay and he knew everything. He knew everybody. He knew Alicia. He knew everybody, right? So he and I used to tell our crazy stories to Heather about the shit that would happen at our shitty, shitty school. So we were sitting there, we're just chilling and we're talking or whatever. Nowhere I hear Tyler look past me and he's like, hey, what's up? And so, you know, I just kind of like mind my business and I didn't even like look up because he was saying what's up to everybody. Like everybody was there, so whatever. And I was working on something. I had like one of my textbooks open and Heather and I are looking down at the page and I hear this voice and it sounds so familiar. I look behind me. And who is it? It's Jay. And so we did not end on good terms. Like I was very hurt with him and very emotional and very like, you know, just upset with him back when we were in high school. But it comes to a point where you're an adult now, you're in college and like you just don't care anymore. So the minute that I saw him, I was like, oh my God. And he was like, holy shit. And like, he was like, how are you? And I was like, I'm good, how are you? So, you know, we hug or whatever. And it genuinely wasn't like, it didn't need to be, 
any drama because like why would it be like we were 15 years old like we are adults now like we got our own shit going on we're in college so he and his brother and i remember his brother his brother remembered me like we were really cool they both come sit down at our table and we just start talking and reminiscing and laughing and like telling heather all of this shit and like there was no bad blood at all whatsoever like we were just we're friends like it was it was what it was and like whatever that happened so long ago and it really wasn't that big of a deal. His brother ended up walking Heather and I out to her car because we would like ride in together. And so he walked us out to the garage and he was like, man, you know, it's so good to see you or whatever. And he walked us to the car, he hugged me and he was like, you know, I'm sure I'll see you on campus tomorrow or whatever. And I was like, yeah, and we go home. That was that. That was it. Okay. Like that was, that was the end of it. So I go back to campus the next day and nothing happened, everything was normal. Now fast forward about a week and I'm in the Tivoli again and I'm hanging out with Heather and like we were just chill there for a few hours before leaving. It's me, Heather and Tyler again. And Heather and Tyler kind of had like a little thing for each other so he would like go out of his way to find us. So he was hanging out with us again. And here we go again. He starts saying what's up to people that he knows or whatever. And then out of nowhere, he was like, Jay, what's up? And so, you know, I immediately get happy because this is my friend now. Like, bad blood aside, it doesn't matter. Like, that was so petty and that was like so long ago, whatever. So I'm like, oh my God. And so I look over to be like, Jay, what's up? And so the minute I look over, you guys, my face falls because he's walking down the hallway with Lauren. Y'all, I felt like a damn sophomore all over again. You guys, she looked at me and recognition immediately on her face and she was like, oh bitch. So, obviously I feel the same way about her that I feel about Jay. It happened so long ago. It wasn't that big of a deal. We were not in this serious relationship. We never like got intimate with each other. It was not all that, right? So, immediately I go into nice Nikki mode and I'm like, hey girl, I was like, do you remember me? And she was like, yeah, I remember you. Whoa, and like the minute that like she, that tone in her voice came out, I was like, oh bitch. Oh, you, you trying to have an issue. Jay reached over and grabbed her hand and it was very evident to me that they were together. So I was like, oh shit. Like they, I guess, ended up getting back together and stayed together and like all this time and all these years later, they're together. So I was like, oh. Well, damn, like, that's why you're so mad. I kind of get it because, like, y'all are still together, but I wasn't, like, this huge relationship for him, girl. Like, calm down. Like, I'm doing my own thing, obviously. It ain't nothing like that with him. He tries to, like, diffuse the situation by, like, changing the subject with Tyler. And so before he was even done with his conversation with Tyler, you guys, the whole time I'm just sitting there staring at her. Like, you got a problem, fucking say it. Like, just say it because this is stupid and I, I'm, I'm kind of smirking at her because I just feel like this is so dumb like this is so stupid how is my drama from my shitty shitty high school when I was 15 years old still around today like how is this even happening right now so before he's even done you guys she legit starts walking off with him like literally pulling him by his hand and he's like okay and like he's literally in a conversation with Tyler and Tyler was like well damn I see you gotta go and so Jay was like dude I'm sorry so like he takes off with Lauren and I I'm like looking at both of them like y'all are so ridiculous especially you girl like you it's so ridiculous y'all she looked the exact same way that she did in high school and <laughs> she did not change at all she still looked like she was in high school and she still acted like she was in high school too it was our first interaction together i didn't even know before that point i had no idea that she even went to the school so i was like well shit like whatever i haven't seen her up until this point i don't have any classes with her like i don't see her when i'm on campus or anything it's not that big of a deal fast forward two days and I had actually met Heather at campus. I didn't have class that day, but she wanted to go to the mall at the 16th Street Mall afterwards. So I was just gonna meet her there and I lived downtown at the time, so it really wasn't that big of a deal. It was like kind of hot outside. So I met her in like this common area, like right down the center of campus. And there's like this small little park area and it's like 
grass and benches and stuff. So I sat out there, I texted her where I was, and she was on her way out of class. And I'm on my phone, and I just hear girls laughing really, really loud, like super loud, like something was hilarious. So I look up, and I see this group of three girls and they're coming down this like path through this little park that I'm in and they're looking right at me and they're laughing you guys like they're laughing like they just saw the funniest shit on the face of the earth like what is what is happening like who are these girls and I look in the middle of the girl group and it's Lauren you guys I felt like I was in high school all over again and they're heading right towards me and they're looking at me and like cracking up okay like they're doing the most at this point i immediately go into like defense mode and i grabbed my purse and i put it on my arm and i stand up because you're not about to walk up on me and i'm sitting down i'm by myself and you're three deep with your friends like not gonna happen so I stand up and I'm not even gonna lie, Lauren was taller than me. She was even taller than me her freshman year. She was just a tall ass girl. She was probably like 5'7 or 5'8. So, you know, she's like taller than me or whatever. And I stand up and she walks up to me and she was like, what's up? And I was like, what's up, Lauren? How are you? And she was like, I'm alright. She was like, I would be better if you'd stop talking to my man though. And you could tell that she was putting on her show for her little fucking friends because she was not talking all this noise when I saw her two days ago. So I was like, oh, like you mean when he walked me out to my friend's car the other day? And I did, I said it to jab at her because you're not about to come at me sideways and if you have an issue with anything that happened, you need to talk to your man because I'm single, I can do whatever the hell I wanna do, but obviously you have an issue with what he did, so you need to talk to him. So I did, I jabbed at her. Her girls, for real, like they were the most dramatic little girls ever and they were like, oh, no she didn't, oh, this bitch, I know she did not. And so I was like, I'm guessing that that's what this is about. She was like, I had an issue with you ever since I was a freshman. And I was like, you didn't have an issue with me. I was like, why are you lying? I was like, because you and I never spoke, not once. I was like, I was with Jay when I was a freshman, before you were even in high school, honey, until our sophomore year, and then we broke up. She was like, yeah, he broke up with you for me. And I was like, okay, be that as it may, I don't care. I was like, what's your point, man? I just want you to leave him alone. She's like, I'm not going to put up with this again. You put up with it again? I was like, you forget that I was with him first. I was like, this is so, okay, hold up. And I started like hearing myself. And I was like, I'm legit arguing with this little girl over like a relationship that I had when I was 15. So I looked at her and I was like, Lauren, I was like, are you for real sitting up here telling me that you have an issue with what happened when I was 15 years old and you were 14? I was like, and I'm about to be 20 right now, okay? I was like, I don't have time for this. I don't care. I was like, you have Jay, keep him. I don't care, man. I was like, I really don't. I didn't care back then. I don't care now. You do, you be happy. I was like, whatever. And she was like, no, because I know messy bitches like you. And so I was like, oh my God, like this is not, <laughs> this is not going to end well. Like I'm trying to let, let it go and I'm trying to leave it be and like just you leave me the hell alone. But you're really like pushing it. Like you're really disrespecting me right now and I don't appreciate it. Crazy Nikki at the time, I end up putting my purse down on the bench and I was like, so what do you want to do, Lauren? I was like, you want to sit up here and fight on campus right now and get tickets? I said, because neither one of us are minors now, so we can do that. Oh, she was like, if you want that kind of problem, Nikki, you know that I, I, I'm about that. Like, you know I don't have an issue. And I was like, you keep telling me that as though I know you. I was like, and I don't. I don't know anything about you, girl. I was like, I didn't know you back then. I don't know you now. I don't give a shit about you, man. At this point, Heather comes out. And she's like down that little pathway like a few feet and she was like Nikki and so she said my name and all of them turned around and looked at her. She could tell that there was something happening and she was like we gotta go. Like, Look let me tell you something. I don't care about your man. You understand that? I was like I need you to get that through your head. I was 15 years old. Get over it. I was like grow up Lauren. Honestly grow the fuck up. I was like because we're, we're adults now man. I was like I, I'm not gonna sit up here and argue with you over something four or five years ago. I was like, it's stupid, and it's immature, and it's petty. I was like, so, what do you want to do? I'm going to ask you one more time before I leave, because after today, I'm not, I'm not going to put up with your shit. I was like, I'm really not. 
So tell me right now what do you want to do? Just stay out of mine and Jay's way and we won't have a problem. And I was like, you tell your man to stay out of my way, bitch. And I ended up walking away. That was like the most petty argument that I had to have over the oldest stupid shit like ever. And I just feel like females can't seem to let stuff like that go. Like I have had girls have issues with me for like 10 plus years over things I legit have had girls like have an issue with me over middle school shit like I'm not even kidding and it comes to a point where like where's that line where where do you stop giving a shit like you must really not have anything going on in your life for you to still be mad at some 15 year old drama you know what I'm saying like you must really like not have grown in your mind for you to still give a shit like and you're not even secure in your relationship that you've had with this man for, I mean, I'm guessing four years now, and I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you that if I ran into her today, she would still have an issue with me. And I think it's so stupid. And I think it's really petty. And I just think that it's really childish. So, I said all this to say this. If you have an issue with somebody from years back, and y'all were kids or teenagers or in high school back then or whatever, let it go man let it go shit like that gives you gray hairs and wrinkles and it's just not worth it honestly and you look like a child if you act like a child you look like a child and so like it comes to a point where you're just like whatever like i moved on i don't care about you like i really don't give you the time of day in my mind i really don't let me know your thoughts down below your comments your stories about girls in your life that have not let shit go like even if it was a big deal or if it was a small deal but like it just years pass and it's still a problem or if you have an issue with letting things go if you hold grudges and you don't know how to let them go let me know down below if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up to let me know i'm so happy to be back with story times um definitely don't forget to hit that huge subscribe button to be notified of each time i upload a video here on my channel I've been hearing that there have been some issues here on YouTube with like notifications and like our videos showing up in your subscription box. So make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you're notified at each time I upload a video. Um, but other than that, I love you guys and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I'm back and I'm so happy about it. So thank you guys so much for joining me for Storytime today and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.